Hey everybody. Wait, What's hold good? on. I think I got a tongue in your lens, hold on. <laughs> Is that weird? Hey, is there anything that we could say right now to you to inspire you? Anything? Is there anything we can say? Is there even one word? Or is just, have we said all the words and we're just... Saying the words over and over again. Yeah. Do you just need action? Do you just need action? What, because... what will inspire you? I feel like if you can find what inspires people, you should bottle that. I mean, that's, that's very valuable. You know, to be able to motivate somebody to make change. Ultimately though, you're the only person that can make that change. You know, you can feel motivated by something that somebody says or does, but if you don't do the action, if you don't participate in the getting up off of your chair or your couch, then no, nothing anybody says or does will help you. So you just gotta like, that's sometimes when I'm trying to find motivation, and that's hard. That's like one of the biggest questions. Like, how do you get motivated? Sometimes what I do is I just kind of have to like, be, I have to say to myself, like, what kind of person are you, Shay? Like, what are you willing to do? Are you willing, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you gonna be that kind of person that just sits around and says, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Like, I just, I don't wanna be that. I do not wanna be the kind of person that just never does what they say they're gonna do. And sometimes that's the only thing that will motivate me, is just saying to myself, like, who are you? Like, what are you willing to do to achieve success? It's about not quitting, getting on that path and just not going. All right, so uh, we have to do at least 51 miles today. 51? Okay. Yeah. 51. This is gonna be tough. I mean, we're standing here at the beginning of this three hour, 51 mile jaunt. Let's see, uh, see how it goes. That's what I love about this. Like right now, I'm just kinda like, I'm a little like this. But you can just like get into it and about, you know, you hit this zone, you're like, yeah. All right, what are you listening to today? I think I'm gonna listen to The Four Agreements again. What's that? Uh, it's a motivational book. It's a book about life lessons. Is it really? Yeah. The Four Agreements? The Four Agreements. Well, you, you need to tell me about this. I didn't know oh. you were listening to a motivational book. Oh yeah, I listened to it on the last 50 miles. Did you really? Yeah. I should download it. We should like sync our things and hit play at the same time. <laughs> Let's do it. You're such a jerk, dude. I thought <laughs> I we were friends. Listen, it, dude, I, friends share motivational books with each other. Listen, you were so busy telling me about your motivational book. Well, you need to speak up. I like to talk a lot. <laughs> I didn't have a chance. Freaking A, you think you know a guy. <laughs> He's listening to motivational books and I don't even know about it. I thought you were listening to rap music or something. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> What's it called? The the Four Agreements? The four Agreements, yeah. You guys, hey, I guess Ron's listening to these motivational books, but he doesn't want to share it with us, because I we're here talking about motivation, and nobody and no, Ron doesn't think it's important to bring up that he's listening to like the most motivational book in the world. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thanks for sharing. I'm glad we're on a freaking team here, hey. idiot. Let's go. <laughs> Hate you. Hi! Hey, listen, what's your- Get out of here! Every single time. Feel like not working out, you start the workout, the endorphins raise, feel like a million dollars yeah yeah yep yep this is where rich people come to hang out <laughs> so we're at the end of the turn away point turn around point we're at the halfway point we're 26.2 miles and we have railroading upon a, a nice resort or something where are we at Torrance we're past Rancho's Palos Verdes somewhere on the coast of Southern California where rich people come to stay and drive their cars. How you feeling, buddy? Doing good. Ron's killing it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> you <been> so good. <laughs> Do it for the vlog, man. Do it for the vlog. My boots, boot's gonna be just dripping. Look, you're like, <laughs> you're leaving a thing of water on the ground. I'll just follow your drips. <laughs> the thin, funny thing is, though, it's probably gonna be totally dry in like another 10 miles. Look at that thing, it's just dripping water. <laughs> so you're leaking like a sieve. <laughs> Sorry. Do you have a drink at your boot? I'm so thirsty right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're at, I'll tell you where we're at. We're at the Terrana Resort. T-E-R-R-A-N-E-A, -E -E Tirana Resort. This is where we're at, you guys. Google image it, right there. It's nice, it's very nice. All right, we got this giant hill to climb. Here we go. I'm gonna get underneath your boot and get some water on my face. Oh, top of the hill, the Tirana Resort. 
There's Ronald. See, it drops down and it's right on the ocean. There's like homes you can buy. I think that's like a big hotel. There's like some million dollar homes in there. Hey Ronald, can you do me a favor? Can you just go ahead and drop a fat beat right now? Oh yeah! To go back to 89 and redesign the scene uh -huh. I'll start with the picture in my junior high yearbook When I had a bad hit I usually get going 35 miles an hour coming down that hill But I figured I was holding the camera so I shouldn't go that fast Woohoo! Steam of friends that I barely knew and haven't even seen since then These things I should have long forgot But still they can pop up and haunt your thoughts Okay, alright here we are Longest ride to date 52.8 miles took us three hours and 14 minutes. The good thing is when we hit the 50 mile mark, we were at three hours and three minutes. And last time we did it in three hours and 10 minutes. So therefore we cut seven minutes off our 50 mile best pace. Get it? Feels good. I feel stronger. My legs feel tight, man. <laughs> Ron, for about a stretch of five miles, just went beast mode and I could not catch him. That's why my legs are so tight. He just like went, I'm like, what is he doing? I think he did like three lines of cocaine and then he just <laughs> hit it. Well, I've, I'm sick of being so far behind. The last two, three weeks, I've been like, where's Shay? Like thinking <laughs> that maybe I got lost, maybe I took the wrong turn. <laughs> really, you're like two miles ahead of me. You're looking great, dude. Okay, keep pushing it, man. Just keep doing these workouts. Oh, my legs feel so tight. Let's do 100 miles this week, dude. We can do a 30 miler on Wednesday and then a 20 miler on Friday. That'd be Sounds a good. total of 100 miles. That'll be good. Let's do that. Because we've only been doing like one ride per week. So I think this week is the week we got to really up it. And then by next Monday, we'll have strong chodes. And that's what we ever always wanted. Let's, dear mom. We just want this, what? <laughs> dear mom, guess oh, what? Oh, dear mom. <laughs> dear mom, this week at biking camp, I got a strong chode. <laughs> All right, good job. We believe in you. Keep it up. Get outside and do it because if you don't, then you never will. That makes sense, right? <laughs> we believe in you. What's up, Shay Losers? How's it going? Hey, if you want to watch another Shay Loss video, click on the link right there. I also have links to the 100 mile bike ride that we will be doing so you can check it out. Also, we are running for UNICEF. Donate to the kids, the New York Marathon. Uh, I got the links to that below if you wanna donate. And as always, we believe in you.